Hello, out for a walk with Bailey because it is gonna get super hot today. So we're out in the morning, which is great. He's wanting to go, he's over there. I wanted to come on and just, I'm gonna do a podcast episode about this and I'm gonna go into more detail, but I've been, um, you know, working, not working on this. I've been on apps for a little while, but sometimes I don't reply and sometimes I don't even look at them and some days I don't care at all and other days I'm like oh, I'm gonna take a look on a cooler night or sitting at home I do it for entertainment sometimes which may not be the best way to approach it but um, it's pretty crazy out there and maybe I don't have the best attitude about it but um, <clears throat> it's one of those things where I go off and on about do I really want to do this like is it just too much bother I was um, so I've been seeing posts, of course, because I'm thinking about it on and on. You see more posts about it on Facebook or you see ads about it and stuff like this. And there was a post on Facebook about that had like 300 and some thousand comments. And it was about, um, are you choosing to st be honest, women? Are you choosing to stay honest? What is your honest opinion about dating like over 50 or whatever? Oh, my God. Some of the comments were so funny. And some were like, literally, I could not believe how many women are like, now I've lost interest. I'm not going to do it. It's too hard. Too much. They have too much emotional baggage. I'm happy being myself. I love my life. Um, I love doing the things I get to do. I have great friends, right? So amazing how things have really changed. Now, I know there are lots of happily married women. I know there are lots of happily, lots of people who are in fantastic loving relationships, whether, you know, man, women to women, man to man, whatever, right? Doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> so I know that. But for us that are still single or have kind of been wanting, looking or thinking about it or are really happy alone too. Like I go through, you know, where I'm just like, I'm just happy alone. Like I'm just really happy alone too. And one of the big things for me also is when I'm around, when I'm out for in nature with Bailey, when I'm at home. Oh, no, 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 no. Shoot. Okay. Oh, there we go. I don't know what that was. Some stupid thing Facebook started. Anyways, um, that I'm happy by myself and it's like I can control my energy better. Like I, I like the energy I get to be around when I'm like right now in my peace, in nature, relaxing, very relaxed, not just having to think about me and Bailey, which I know sounds selfish, but seriously, it's not. It just means I, I like getting to do what I want to do when I want to do it. But there's also times when I'd love to have a partner to do it with, you know, and I love going out for dinner, but I want a certain type of guy. And, and I'm noticing that I think, I don't think he's out there. Like, I don't think there's a guy around my age who's like that. So I'm noticing those thoughts come up. So if anybody's in my position, let me know what you're thinking. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know what's working for you. What's not working for you. And have you given up? Have you given up? Right? Because that's really easy to do. It's easier to give up. Absolutely. Which is means staying in your comfort zone, yada yada. Um, so I have a couple conversation calls coming up. Same with meetings coming up. You know, meeting someone, um, and I'm okay with that. But I seriously, it's like I could take it or leave it. Like <laughs> maybe that's not the best attitude. Um, I'm also at that point in my life where I really know what I want. Right? Like I know I want to live my winters in warm tropical climates. So if a guy can't do that, there's no sense starting to date, like not at all. And also long distance, there's somebody who is um, longer distance, like in Penticton. And I'm like, oh, well, well, then what's the point? What's the point? Like, I'm not going to, I'd like to move to West Kelowna, but right now I don't see that I can, or it's not in the, my thing in the near future. So no, it's not just, well, if you love someone, you know what? I think that women over 50 or whatever have come to, it's like, it's not just about love. Like you can love someone, but if you're, if you're not willing to make those changes, then why do it? Right? Like why make those changes? Like I'm not afraid to, to, and how can you love? Oh, I don't even get that. If they're living a long distance and you haven't really met them, just, it's easy to just say, it's not going to work out. Sorry, too far away. Bye. Right? Like really that should be done early instead of meeting, talking, getting all involved with someone and then feeling the heartbreak break of not being able to be there. Well, why even get started? Like to me, I just don't even have that. I don't know that gene in me of like putting in tons and tons of effort to 
to uh, start something that I can't see that we can continue right here right now you know see this person consistently but there's so many um, thoughts and I was surprised that so many women are really okay being by themselves and I think a lot is they've made changes and compromises through the years in the past with their spouse or whatever and realizing I'm happy now like kind of like when you're happy when you're this peaceful and happy why right rock the rock the boat and a lot of these women were mentioning peace that they feel peaceful and happy um, and I think that's what we search for as we age you know over a certain age we search for that now companionship yes and I totally believe there's there's people out there who want companionship more than others I really believe that we all have different love languages my love language is not touch it's the last love language I have that doesn't mean I'm not affectionate with someone I care about it just means I don't feel the need for that I don't feel I don't miss that every day not at all um, you know when I was younger I was totally different and now maybe that's some biological thing that's pulling us towards mating when we're younger but now it's like I just don't have that oh I just love I just want to meet someone I just can't wait I don't have that like it's just not there I'd love to happen to meet someone who's funny who's fun who's interesting who still has things they want to do in life is passionate on purpose living on purpose is fit is healthy right like I am not gonna be a caretaker in five years for somebody who doesn't want to take care of themselves now I don't know if anybody's commenting but say hello if you are oh my god like no not happening not happening not happening like that may sound really selfish but truly no if this you know yes we can all let ourselves go at a certain age but I don't believe we need to and I don't I'm not planning on it and I don't want to be with someone who's going to do that who's gonna say I can eat and drink whatever I want it doesn't matter I feel fine now and doesn't think there'll be any consequences right and that was one thing that a lot of these women were saying too and I totally get it it's like no uh-uh and there was also this um, uh, you know on those shorts right video shorts or whatever there was this she was, must have been a relationship coach and she was younger herself I bet she was in her 30s and she said I'm telling you right now I am NOT working with women over 50 anymore <laughs> she goes they're way too picky and what they expect they're not gonna get she goes they want their husband to be attentive to have sex with them I'm like seriously I don't think there's very many women like later after 50s who are just dying for their husband to have sex with them but that's who knows anyways um, she goes their expectations are too high they're not, all the men the type of men they want are dead and I'm like oh my god <laughs> she seriously was saying that yeah she seriously was saying that um, I should have shared it into my group I was going to um, but I didn't so I'll see if I can find it again she's yeah she's relation and she says I'm not working with women over 50 she goes they want all these things she goes women men your age who are what you want they're with younger women if you want a fit attractive active guy around your age she goes they're gonna be with younger women and I'm like you know what that is so true they can get someone 36 they can get someone 45 right freak if I was a man my age and I could get a 46 year old I'd freaking go for it let me tell you that much <laughs> so we are in a weird um, weird stage I I see there's people on what are your comments oh my god eh? I'm just putting it all out there I don't know I feel like being totally honest totally out front I've been thinking about this for a while and I just thought you know what there's got to be other people out there women out there who think like I do and I'm tired of think saying I'm not gonna say something because it's gonna sound selfish it's gonna it's gonna make me feel like this or seem like this and I'm tired I'm not into that anymore I don't care but it's just so funny so I'm gonna meet a couple guys um, and I'm really nice like see the thing for me is is that I accept someone fully and completely for who they are I don't try to change them so if they're not if I feel like oh they're really not someone I could see myself with I'm really nice and I'm like no I don't think it's gonna work but it was so great to meet you and I wish you all the luck and some people are like Ghana you gotta give it a try you gotta give it longer I'm like you know what hmm. there are times when I can sense 
okay, this, yes, I, I want to see them more and I want to get to know them better. And then, then the other times, I have very strong intuition and it has never, ever, ever been wrong. So I'm 59. So if my intuition has always been right, I'm going to still trust it. I'm not going to second guess just because there's a guy who's like, oh my God, a guy my age who ticks all the boxes. That's incredible. But then I date him and it's like, hmm, no. If I feel that, hmm, no. And also, if I am with someone and if they're super, super nice and caring, and which I really like more of a man's man, I, I don't like the soft, super soft, eh, not so much. A strong, driven, passionate man who's like successful and really knows what he wants and they're strong in his character because I'm kind of that's very strong in my character so I need that too right but anyways where was I going with this I totally forgot I totally forgot what I was talking about anyways yeah so I would love to know what you think I can't see comments right now so if somebody's comments I'll read them after but let me know what you think because this is such a funny thing right I want to meet them I'm open and I'm like I always have really, really, really good experiences. I've, I've met really super nice people. I've never had a problem. Um, yeah. So I've had only good experiences. It's just that, you know, there's always something that's like, no. And especially, like I said, if they cannot, if they do not have the ability to sometime live in a warmer climate then, or don't want to, then that's not going to happen. Like if they want to go skiing in the winter, that ain't happening because I'm not going skiing. <laughs> they can go skiing. <laughs> I'm not going into any winter. <laughs> I don't like snow. I don't want to be in winter. I don't want to. Oh, there's this one guy from Whitehorse. He looks amazing. And we've been chatting. I'm Whitehorse. No, <laughs> that ain't happening. That's for sure. Unless he's moving here. No way. <laughs> so maybe I have a lot more um, list. My list of what I don't want than what I do want. Maybe I should focus on that. Anyways. All right. That is my little rant for today on that topic. I will be doing my blog post. I mean, my, um, <clears throat> what do you call that podcast episode on this too later. Anyways, thank you so much for listening. And I'm anxious to see your comments and what you have to say. So much love to you. Bye.